Roundabouts are becoming increasingly popular throughout Florida and the United States because of their benefits. They dramatically reduce serious injuries and fatalities due to crashes, and they help reduce congestion and delays. However, for some drivers, a roundabout is a new concept. A roundabout is a one-way circular intersection that uses signs to guide motorists counterclockwise around a center island. A roundabout can be used in place of a traditional intersection and has no traffic signals. Roundabouts are designed for slower speeds, between 15 and 25 miles per hour, making them safer to navigate. A roundabout is designed to accommodate all kinds of users. Passenger cars, motorcycles, emergency vehicles, recreational vehicles, tractor trailers, and even pedestrians and bicyclists use roundabouts. A roundabout has accessible pedestrian crossings and triangular islands between lanes for pedestrians to wait if they choose to cross one direction of traffic at a time. When bicyclists use a roundabout, they have two options. They can either travel with motorists or walk their bikes in the crosswalks. The inner portion of a roundabout serves as an apron or buffer for large trucks, giving them space to make wide turns. Here's how to navigate a roundabout. As you approach a roundabout, you will see a yellow roundabout ahead sign. Slow down. Most roundabouts have a speed limit of 15 to 25 miles per hour. If the roundabout is a multi-lane roundabout, it is important to think of it just like a traditional intersection. Just like a traditional intersection, you choose which lane to be in before approaching the intersection. You will see a sign showing which lanes to use for each traffic movement. Use either lane to go straight, use the left lane and follow the pavement markings to go left, and for right turns use the right lane. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists in marked crosswalks. If you see someone crossing or about to cross, make a complete stop before the crosswalk to let them pass. Once a vehicle enters a roundabout, they have the right of way. Motorists approaching the roundabout should yield to traffic moving through the intersection. When it's your turn and there are no vehicles coming through, or a gap between you and the next vehicle is large enough, enter the roundabout. Do not change lanes when driving through a multi-lane roundabout. You should never stop in a roundabout. The only time it is permissible to stop in a roundabout is when you are yielding to pedestrians or bicyclists. Once you reach the desired exit point, signal and leave the roundabout. Roundabouts improve safety and are more efficient than traditional intersections. Roundabouts have fewer and less severe crashes, slower speeds reduce the risk of fatal crashes, and roundabouts have fewer conflict points. Conventional intersections have 32 conflict points, or places where incidents can happen. A roundabout has only 8 conflict points. Since traffic is only moving in one direction, head-on and high-speed right-angle collisions are virtually eliminated. Roundabouts have been shown to reduce the number of fatal and severe injury crashes by 78 to 82 percent. Having no signals allows cars to move more efficiently through the intersection. Traffic flows continuously. Here you can see a comparison of the efficiency of a roundabout versus a signalized intersection. Drivers in the roundabout get through much quicker as traffic is moving at a consistent rate. Another safety feature of a roundabout is the truck apron for wide-turning vehicles. A roundabout reduces traffic delays by about 20 percent. By eliminating much of the waiting that takes place at traditional intersections, a roundabout shortens travel times for both drivers and pedestrians. If you encounter an emergency vehicle outside a roundabout, pull over to the right and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. But if you are already in the roundabout, pull to the nearest exit and allow the emergency vehicle to pass. For more information on roundabouts, visit fdot.gov slash agency resources slash roundabouts.